Hey guys, I did a video a while back and it was about dating, possibly even marrying a more upscale woman, uh, a woman who's educated. And, you know, upscale, that, that means a, a lot of different things to a lot of different people. And I, and I overheard this vlogger um, talking about that the guys here that are coming in here, basically they're they're the, the, the lower fruit on the apple tree kind of. He didn't say it that way, but he's saying, you know, we're like twos or threes over here. We're in a, our 60s and 70s and 50s and stuff like that. But there's women over here, and women usually marry older, number one, and they usually marry up, number two, or equal to, okay? And equal to here in the Philippines is a lot different than equal to back home. If you marry a doctor in the Philippines, she's probably making 1500 and I'll bet you you're probably making more than that. Than, in most cases here, most expats here are making more than $1,500 or right around $1,500. There's a lot of expats here in our group, and I would say the majority of them are way above $1,500 US. But the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because... We think of doctors back home. If you're if you're a regular uh, blue collar worker back home, we think often think of people, doctors, actresses, um, uh, dentists, and stuff as you know they're off limits. They're 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 way beyond us. We we could even you know get in with something like that. And it's probably true back home. In the in the Philippines, a doctor makes about probably fifteen hundred. If you're a really good doctor, you might make two or three thousand. U.S. a month or somewhere in, in, in around there, maybe more if you're really like way up there and you're 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 the um, guy that's in charge of the hospital and you're a surgeon or something like that, you could probably make a lot more. But there are guys that are equal to those people amongst our expats or more, because it's a lot of people think that all expats are broke over here. Nothing could be, nothing could be. Um, more false than, than that statement that most expats are broke over here. Most of the expats over here are actually pretty well off. We do get a lot of uh, people over here that are broke. They come in here, they're on the, the, the Social Security people. They, they, they never planned on their retirement. Um, and those people, they fall into a different category. I'm talking about your average expat over here with a decent pension, social security, um, probably making two to 3,000 or more could, could snag somebody, a, a woman that's more upscale, um, more educated and educated over here in the Philippines is, 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 is kind of funny because, you know, if you take a nurse back to the States, she's making 80, you know, 75 to a hundred thousand a year. Easy, easy. If not more, if she's working tons of overtime and working weekends, or if she's a nurse practitioner, she's probably up to about one hundred fifty or two hundred thousand. In some cases, if she has her own practice, you know, because a nurse practitioner, at least in the state of Massachusetts, I'm not sure about other states, they can practice medicine out of their own practice if they want, just like a doctor. They can write prescriptions. They can do all that stuff. A nurse practitioner is basically kind of the same as a doctor back home. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure how it is over here. I've never ran into a nurse practitioner in any of the facilities here, but I will say this is, is this, I know people up in Angeles that have married into a, one married a dentist, the other one married a, a, a doctor. Um, I know of a, a, of a couple of other people that have married people that are really high up there in colleges, they're college professors. Um, one of them was a dean. And in, in, in all these relationships, most of the, the, the women were, were younger by 15 years, 20 years or whatever. You know, I mean, to, so to say that you cannot marry top tier women, I think that's, that's false. And that was the word he was using was top tier. You know, um, we have a chiropractor here in the Philippines. And he's, a, he's a pretty well-known chiropractor. He married a movie star here. So, you know. You know, and and you can say, well, well, he's the exception, not the rule. Um, I beg to differ with you because I, I find a lot of the doctors here are very approachable, very friendly, and I, I have doctors here that are friends of mine. Um, back home, 
you probably wouldn't even consider hanging around with a, a doctor. A lot of people don't. You know, a lot of doctors hang around with their own types of people back in the United States. It's just different. Um, I, I, gr I grew up in a small town, um, and my father was friends with the dentists and friends with all the doctors in town. You know, he, he, he knew them pretty well. And in fact, he used to go to their houses sometimes for different things. And, you know, they'd, they'd, they'd get along fine. So to say that, you know, that happens everywhere. I think the Philippines is, is, is the exception, not the rule. It's it, over here. It's totally different because I find doctors, dentists here, very approachable, very friendly and on our level. Okay. They don't put themselves up here. Uh, I'm better than you. I don't hang out with you, you know? So, you know, where does that put us? A lot of guys over here, I mean, if you're educated and there are educated expats over here, and then there's uneducated expats over here, uh, people that are blue collar workers, they might've been union workers. Um, they might find it hard to mix in with that because, and, and also they, the, the, the people might not mix in with them, but we have, we have a lot of people here that are engineers, ex-engineers. Um, we actually have a few doctors, ex expat doctors that have come in here that have spoke with me that they want to get the SRRVs. Um, we also have um, college professors, um, doctors, you know, doctors of, of math or whatever, philosophy. I don't know what they're doctors of, but I know that, that we, we've had some of those come in here before because they've, they've used me for the SRRVs. Um, so to say that, you know, all expats are like a two or three because we're, we're old, we're ugly and, you know, we're, we're, we, we don't have a lot of money or something. We can't, we can't, uh, mix in with these people or date them. I think that's kind of false. You know, each and every person is different in their own right. Um, I would say, I would say it's actually better here as far as dating because it opens up a whole different um, bunch of areas that you can you can date in, whereas back home, you probably have a harder time dating somebody that's more affluent or something. And I think here it's 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 a lot easier. I find I don't find people here unapproachable. I, I just don't. Um, that could be me. Um, I find people very approachable here. Um, a lot of my friends find people very approachable here. As far as dating, um, some of them have dated women that were um, in their 20s and 30s that, that were, were doctors and, and nurses, and I don't find a problem with it, you know? And, and like I said, I've seen people marry dentists and doctors here, so what's there, there is no real issue here with that. But to go out there and say that, you know, like, I think everybody has their merits. Yeah, we're older. I get that. There's a lot of good-looking older guys. A lot of women like older guys. They just do. Some do. Um, but if you're, we, we have our people here that are, are very old and um, they come with a lot of health issues and stuff like that. Yeah, you might have more problems. You might have more problems finding somebody or dating somebody than than a guy that's healthy, um, takes care of himself, goes and weight lifts, and you know he's got he he was an engineer before or something like that. I mean, if you're competing with that and this guy here's you know you know what i'm saying he has a better chance than, than than somebody that's you know quit school or something like that or what have, what have you or or was a, a blue collar construction worker and he still carries himself that way um personality wise he's gonna have a harder time because he he's he's he doesn't talk in a professional way he's 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 different so we cannot throw everybody in the same basket and say okay you're you can't do this. It's a, it's a, you know, because it's just false, you know, and for people out there to be going around talking like that and saying that, I just think it's false. I think we are more open here to date pretty much almost anybody we want. And it doesn't hurt to ask. You can always ask if the, if the woman's single and she, you know, and you like her and you get along with her or something, you can always ask to go on a date. The worst she can say is no, you know, um, I wouldn't go off what people said and just say, well, I, I, I like this lady. Uh, I know she's a doctor or I know she's a dentist or I know she's a, but you know, you know, why would you not ask her? How do you think these guys that got married to the, to the dentists and the doctors that were expats, how do you think they did it? They asked. 
and they're happy. You know, and you're less likely to get ripped off from somebody like that than you are some of these other girls that are that that are, you know, from the provinces and are, that are poor. A lot of the guys come over here, they're 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 dating the women that are poor, and, and there's nothing against the poor women. There's a lot of nice women out there, and they're working their way up, and they're going to college, and they're doing this or that. But a lot of guys go for these really uneducated girls that probably quit school in the eighth grade or something like that. And I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know why they do that. It, maybe it's the sex or whatever, or, or, or the fact that they, because they can do it. Um, for me, I'm not a person that likes to go, you know, go go after really young women at my age. You know, I'm I'm older now. You know, I want to get somebody closer that I can have a conversation with. Um, I would, I think, I would find it. You know, if I was still dating now, and I'm not that if I was still dating, I, I would, I would date anybody I wanted to date, you know, and I think you guys should too. I, I, I would not be afraid to add, if you, if you have a, a, a dentist and your dentist is single and you like her or your doctor is single and you like her, say, Hey, listen, I, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if you'd like to go out to dinner or not, but I'd like to ask you to go out to dinner. It can't hurt you to ask. It can't hurt you to ask. What's the worst? The worst you can say is no. You know, and if you get a date with her and you guys hit it off really well and, you know, and she's got money from working and she, you're OK with her working. What does it matter? You know, and it's hard to have a relationship like that, too, because, you know, um, when you think about it, I mean, like I said, you know, if if you're married to a doctor, she's going to be working a lot. You know, you're married to a dentist. She's working at least during the day. You know, probably at least eight hours a day, maybe 10 hours a day. At least you got some time with her and you got weekends off, but she still has to answer to emergencies on weekends and stuff. You know, those are problems too for you and you have to consider that. But at least you know where she is every day. You know, I mean, the problems that a lot of the guys that I see online talking about you know, all the problems that they're having with these these um, provincial girls and, 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 and other girls, and some of them are all, some of them are scammers and some of them are not, they're having a hard time because of the, the childishness that you know the, the girls are very naive there um there's a lot of problems not to say that there's a lot of good girls out there too there is but you got to find them you got to find them and it, it you know if if we think of ourselves as as low you know like like uh lowly twos and threes on the dating scale nobody wants to date us and you can only do it here because you're in the philippines i think that's a bunch of bull i think the days of a long time ago when you could you could find girls here very very easy or are, are, are going away because a lot of guys i'm finding are having a hard time finding the girl of their dreams over here because they date a girl they find out that she's a mess after like two or three months and then they date a, date somebody else i see guys that are that are chronic daters over here they just date all the time that's all they do they're looking for for mrs right and they've been here for like three or four years or two years or whatever and they they, they haven't they're not even close to finding who they want to find. I find other guys, they get really lucky. They they find Mrs. Wright as soon as they get over here, and, and, and it lasts. And they do fine. You know, but guys, if you're, if, you're, if you're new here and you're coming here, ask. You know, just ask. All you have to do is ask the girl. The worst you can say is no. A lot of guys are like terrified to ask people because they, they think of them as more affluent. Let me tell you something about Filipinos. Filipinos are the sweetest, kindest people you will ever meet. Is there a dark side to them sometimes? Yes, there is. To so some of the Filipinos over here, there is, a, there is a dark side. Is there a dark side sometimes to the Americans too? Yes, there is. To Westerners, is a, that, the same goes for them. There's a dark side of everybody, kind of. Let's face it. And, and, but... I would say the majority of Filipinas are nice people. They're good, upstanding people, hard workers too. You know, so when you're out there and you're looking, don't give up. Date who you want to date. The worst they can do, like I said, is just say no. You know, and at least you tried. You know, and, and, and for people to say that we're twos and threes, some of us, some of the guys over here are engineers. They make they're pulling in anywhere between three to ten thousand dollars in their pensions and retirements. I, I know some guys that, that are that are up around nine or ten thousand. 
You know, I know a couple of guys over near Tagai Tai that, that are pulling in that kind of money. And that's on their off their retirement money because they saved a lot of money. Do you think that they're incapable of, of, of dating a, a doctor or somebody that's upscale? No, hell no. You know, um, these, guy, these guys worked in, in really good jobs where they made a lot of pay. Uh, some, of the, some of these people worked in, 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 you know, in the military. And after they got out of the military, they worked at big companies and they made tons of money. They, they were engineers or what have you. You know, why wouldn't they be, have the ability to date somebody that's, that's top tier or up here? You know, I, I don't understand how anybody can say that, but, but this guy was saying it. Anyway, guys, God bless. Take care. I hope you enjoyed today's show. And guys, remember, don't ever let anybody change your mind. We're way better than twos or threes, you know, despite what this guy is saying. God bless, guys. Take care.